So, you know, I pulled a card before. I'm like, what, what would be a good thing to talk about today on a video? And the card I got was cornucopia, which is basically abundance. And you think during these times where we still have this COVID stuff going on and people losing jobs and all this craziness in the world, um, many people maybe won't allow themselves to focus on that or open up to the abundance that wants to come in because everything's changing. And instead of waiting five years from now to look back and say, wow, that really made a huge difference in my life. I'm so grateful because had that not happened, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, it happens with everything, right? We look back and we see the gift in it. But what I would like to talk about is seeing the gift in it right now and how abundance is available to every one of us, no matter what we're going through at this time. So how to tap into abundance in the midst of chaos? Wow. I guess we want to start simple. Look at the small things going on, the things that, you know, gratitude will always bring us there, right? The things that you are grateful for. Start with that. And then we allow that energy to build. So even if you're going through some really hard times with this COVID, there's always going to be some aspects of what's going on that you can be grateful for. So when you can notice those, you do open yourself up to the possibilities that may be there for you. But you have to be able to open to see that it is there. Because if we keep ourselves closed off and locked up in this little ball or trap of like misery and what's going wrong and what can go wrong and everything that causes you to fear what comes next, then you're just not going to be able to break free. So I know people are finding out different ways of doing their business that they never thought of doing before that they actually prefer. So there's a lot of that going on. Some people are realizing, why am I wasting my life doing this when I hate it and I would rather do that? So some people may actually be grateful that they were forced to leave a certain job or position or career because then it freed them up to think of, well, if not that, what else is possible? What else can I do? And just by asking questions of the universe, what else is possible? You know, how can I take this really horrible situation and have it turn into something better for me? Like ask the questions without getting your head and trying to figure it out. Because when we get in the head and try and figure it out, we go down the spiral into that really low vibrational energy. But when we can start to move upward and the easy way to do it is through gratitude. And I find that at, Actually, the easiest, easiest, easiest way is just keep asking questions. So when you live in the question, you're open to the possibilities. And the more you do it, the more you see how true it is. Like it might just sound like words I'm saying right now, like, yeah, right, Linda, but I've been doing it. And things that were really a sticking point in my life are just breaking open, it's just breaking open. And things are just happening. And I don't even know how they're happening. But that's the beauty of it. I don't have to know how, because when I think I know how, I just make myself small again. I'd much rather open to inspiration, right? You know how when you're doing something you really enjoy, that you have so many more ideas come to you about things you could do that would even enhance what you were doing, right? When you get in that creative flow, you know, like the right colors to put in something that comes to you or whatever you're painting or redecorating a room or building something or redesigning something mechanical like a car. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. When you start to open up and in that higher vibration, it just comes dropping in because we are literally all connected to everything, everything. That means every possibility that exists. It also means every possibility uh, that exists for your highest good. It also means every possibility that exists for your lower good. But where do you want to focus on, right? So if you want to be 
see, so the thing is people think I just can't, I just can't get out of this rut. I don't know how to move from this feeling to that feeling. Well, that's the stuff that I do in, business, in the work that I do. I help people clear that out so they can move into this other energy, but it doesn't have to be hard. You have the power to do it for yourself. It's just making a choice to no longer fall victim to the fear and the doubt and the worry. And instead look up to or in a forward direction to how can this change? What can happen here that would take me into a better place? How can I actually thrive after having that miserable thing occur in my life? Um, just ask questions. The more you ask them, the more creative you can get with them. So abundance. Okay, so I'm forgetting where I was. I'm supposed to be talking about abundance. And we are. So abundance it really is all around us. Abundance is all the possibilities that are around us. And it doesn't have to be money, but we think abundance, we think money, but it could be abundance in all things. I mean, look, go out in your backyard, you got abundance of grass usually, or an abundance of rocks, or abundance of weeds, or abundance of trees and flowers and plants and all that stuff. There is abundance. There's an abundance of air. We're, we're not running out of air. It's everywhere. So it's the same thing. Possibilities are everywhere. Do we want to breathe them in? Or do you want to block them? Because nope, I'm going to stay here because there's no way out for me. There's always a way out. And sometimes it doesn't feel so good. But at the other side of it, when you come through it, you're in this bigger, more expanded place. And then you see the purpose of it, right? So I'm kind of wanting you to toy with the idea of seeing the purpose of it right now. Yeah. So I have a karate school and I don't know if it's going to survive this pandemic or not. We opened up and still more of the students, the ones that remained, want to just do Zoom. They don't want to come into the dojo. <laughs> we marked off six foot squares and all that, doing the hands, everybody's wearing the masks, um, and still not many want to come back in. So who knows what's going to happen with all of this? I don't know, but I'm not worried about it. I'm like, you know what? If it's time for that business to end, it's time for that business to end. <coughs> See that throat chakra. <coughs> so what does what wants to be expressed or created in place of that, right? Or is there another way to do that? So the online thing was kind of working for a while, but you know, it's karate. We need to have that physical contact. You need to feel impact when you're hitting kicking punching something to, to feel how the body is working together so you know zoom classes aren't going to cut it forever anyway my point is this that business might just totally go under and that business does bring in quite a big part of our overall income so losing that is going to probably not feel that great but i'm just not worried about it i'm just not worried about it and the more I don't worry about it, the more things are coming from different directions. And I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't consider that. Oh, that's really fun. Oh, that could be really cool. And then you get in that creative um, flow of what would, could, could be that really you wouldn't have thought about. Well, not that you wouldn't have thought about. Maybe eventually you would have. But having to be kind of like jolted into something um, can really open things wide open so that's the whole thing i'm trying to get at everything is opening up wide open it's like all this possibility all this abundance this cornucopia that life can bring to you it's like right there it's right there saying come on we're right here it's right here everything you want is right here just take that leap of faith take that leap of faith start asking questions of the universe how does it get any better than this what else is possible for me what am i not seeing in this situation with my karate school, what am I not seeing as to what it can do and create for something that I would enjoy doing so much better or in a way that I would enjoy better or in a way that actually helps people to thrive more through the martial arts, if we're talking about martial arts, but it could be anything, right? Now, fortunately for my coaching business, it doesn't really make much difference. In fact, it's probably bringing more people because of all the junk that's caving in on you. And I'm just helping those people peel it away, let it go and open up. And then they see the new possibility. So I prove it all the time. 
uh, for myself, the people I work with. And that's why I just wanted to share this. And I don't know if these words actually came out in any way that would make any sense. Uh, hopefully you can just feel the energy of it and that there is this, this flow, this energy. And it's there and it's just peaceful with this kind of energy attached to it, like excitement. And so let's just jump out of any stuck place you are. Take that leap of faith. It's like diving off the cliff, right? Just letting go. And maybe that's it. Letting go so that you can actually be aware of the abundance that comes once you do. Yeah. Now, people have told me that before in the past when I wasn't ready to hear it. I could, I'm thinking of a time right now. And... Um, I'm like, yeah, no, you don't just, you just don't get it. You don't know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I didn't get it. That person got it. I didn't get it back then, but I get it now. And I don't know. I don't even know if I'll post this video. I'll have to listen to it again and see if I made any sense. But um, maybe I will. Because if the words are coming out in this way, then the words need to be heard. Uh, that abundance card, cornucopia, came up. And I guess it's really for the purpose of just telling you Abundance is all around you. You just have to tap into it. You have to allow yourself to tap in. You have to let go of... I mean, who wants to feel so heavy, right? You're always protected. If you, if you just really align with knowing that you are always protected, that, that guidance will be there for you. But if you can't get there, then that guidance isn't going to be there for you. If you're thinking of only the misery and the problems on it, it, it just can't reach you. It just can't reach you. So just snap out of it. <laughs> Take a leap of faith. And do it by just asking questions of the universe. You'll see things change around for you because I know it has for me. With all the different things I've learned, with all the different healing modalities I did, it wasn't until I got into access consciousness and then teach this asking questions and being in the question and allowing the possibilities to be without you trying to figure it all out everything broke free and everything is just flowing with ease now and so uh, i invite you to play with that and see how it goes for you and you know leave me comments um go to my website hit my contact form and send me messages i'd love to hear from you i'd love to answer any questions you have my website is lovemylife.coach and I'll see you another time.